Joining us once again on the show to break down some of the big uh, news of the morning, Jordan Yule, welcome back to the show. John, thank you for having me. Good to have you here. There's a, a lot I want to get to, uh, but what I, I want to start off with one of the, I guess, the big congressional actions of the week. Uh, yesterday, we finally had the vote on the big anti-hate resolution, which uh, was initially created as an anti anti or an anti-Semitism uh, measure because of the comments of Representative Ilhan Omar. It was uh, broadened to be against uh, all forms of hate which was controversial somehow, and so it has passed. And so before we get to those who voted against it, in terms of the, the, the entire saga from the beginning to now, if you had been in congressional leadership, how would you have handled this whole situation? Uh, a lot differently than it was handled. Um, I think the one thing that should be said is, the, like you pointed out, uh, this came as a result of Ilhan Omar's criticisms of uh, APAC. Uh, and the influence it has over Congress. So for people to take that and, and run with it as some sort of anti-Semitic attack, uh, to me illustrates an inability to have meaningful, serious conversations uh, about the, ro the role and influence uh, lobbying groups have in Congress. Um, it's, it's a bit alarming that we, we break down on sort of these like optics. Uh, I wonder how different the conversation might have been if say, uh, Peter King in New York made the same criticism mm -hmm. <laughs> that ever happened. Uh, uh, what really frustrates me about the way that whole situation went down is they dragged their feet when Steve King literally asked a question when white supremacy became offensive. Um, they did nothing with Steve King's white nationalist comments, including uh, we can't rebuild our society with someone else's babies, uh, his re repeated attacks on people of color and immigrants. Uh, but now suddenly, uh, we're, we're prompted with this with this immediate need to address uh, very specific forms of speech. Uh, and mind you, Steve King voted present on that bill. Yeah. Well, actually, why don't we turn to that? Because uh, although there, there's little I hate more than both sides in things, uh, in the end, the the bill did denounce all forms of you know anti-Semitism, uh, but also um, dealing with Islamophobia and other sorts of isms as well. Um, now. Uh, and, and as you point out, there's this long history of ignoring certain acts. I mean, even Jim Jordan, like a lot of people online, like we were tweeting about it, but uh, nobody yep. seems to really care that he implied that again, that the money behind a Jewish billionaire was controlling the Democratic Party. Um, AOC had tweeted, uh, where's the outrage over the 23 GOP members who voted no on that resolution? Oh, there's none, did they get called out, raked over, ambushed in halls and relentlessly asked why not? No, okay, got it. So we're gonna talk about it at the very least. So 23 voted no, many have not provided any explanation for that yet. But we do know that Steve King voted present, which I just love. Uh, Louis Gohmert said that it was too broad. And Liz Cheney said it's a sham designed to protect Ilhan Omar. I always think the best way to protect a representative is to do a congressional denunciation of their action. But um, <laughs> what do you think about this, that, that denouncing all forms of hatred is too broad to support? I, I I don't understand the argument. Honestly, I, I've thought about it a lot. It does not make sense. Um, but one thing I did want to point out that Paul Gosar, uh, member of Congress also who voted no, his family members, his own family members, immediate family, brothers and sisters, ran against him because he was so racist. So when you look at this public posturing from people like Gomer and Liz Cheney, like you can make your own assumptions, but I do want people to understand that the, uh, someone who voted uh, the same way as them literally had his own siblings running attack ads against him because he was so racist. Wow. Thank you very much for watching this clip from the damage report. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notifications of our new videos. And of course, you can catch the full damage report live every weekday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.